Uh, Kyle, you look pretty fired up on uh, numerous occasions in this game tonight. What was uh, what was it like to make your Phillies debut uh, in this kind of atmosphere? Um, man, that was so much fun. Um, you know, I was just talking on the radio, but uh, overall, I'm a fairly even keel guy. Um, but uh, you know, kind of that overflow of emotion just kind of happens in some of those big situations. And, you know, I think it's just the, the product of having a plan, um, especially the double play, you know, JT comes out, you know, having a plan, um, really needing, needing and wanting to execute a pitch right there and being able to do it and getting the result that we're looking for. Um, you know, I think I can kind of get used to all these big moments and, and big spots being really meaningful and, and uh, a lot on the line, you know, that's just so much fun. And, um, you know, that's also part of it. I, I try to have a lot of fun when I'm out there playing and, uh, you know, even just being able to dive back, you know, going to first and stuff, just feeling like a baseball player again. So, um, you know, that was a that was a lot of fun out there. And, and these fans are great. You know, they they hang on every pitch. They get the big moments. They get what we're trying to do out there. And, um, you know, just the, the baseball side of things, fans are great here. I mean, you've been an American League player for your entire career, so it feels good to help yourself uh, at the plate there? Yeah, that's my first RBI. Uh, I've got a few hits, but, you know, first RBI and – um yeah, I obviously I've never driven in a run, so being able to do it and, and take the lead there is pretty cool. Corey, Kyle, I know you're new here, but this is the biggest game this team has played in quite a while. Uh, what was the vibe like in the dugout during the game? Could you sense guys really fired up uh, based on the stakes of this game? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody kind of gets it. You know, everybody, uh, even in Pittsburgh, you know, the last day in Pittsburgh. Um, you know, the, the second day when we lost, I still think everybody was pretty fired up and a lot of energy. Um, but then when we go to D.C. And, and play as well as we did over that four game set, um, you know, you can see that uh, there's some fire in the dugout and and uh, we feel pretty good about where we're at right now. So um, you know, it, it's cool to see. You know, I think, um, you know, where I came from, um, you know, we, we had a lot of energy. But, you know, sometimes when you're losing, you got to force energy a little bit. And and you can you know, even when you win, it doesn't you know necessarily feel like the same energy. Um, you know, wins here and, and big moments here, obviously, there's a lot more on the line. And um, I think obviously everybody gets that and and uh, just adds a little bit more to that atmosphere and that excitement and, and the energy in the dugout. And the Mets went one for 15 against you tonight with men on base. I mean, what did you think enabled you to wiggle out of those jams you were in in the third, fourth, fifth innings? You know, um, I don't know. I think some of it, uh, you have to really trust your plan. You got to have confidence in, in the plan that you have, even, you know, Normally they're a pretty aggressive team and they were pretty passive tonight. Um, so when they took their walks and, and did a good job of making me work hard, um, you can't abandon what you're trying to do. You know, some of that is just me not executing pitches. So I have to trust the fact that when I do execute pitches, the plan is the right plan. Um, and I think that's, you know, on JT, he did a great job of, of keeping us on plan there and, and keeping us on point. And, um, you know, I, some of it's just the energy as well and the excitement of being in those big moments and, and uh, you know, the self-talk that I have and, and, and uh, you know, how I use that energy. Um, you know, I like to think every now and then it helps me. Sometimes it, you know, gets you a little bit too excited and hurts you a little bit. But, um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing. We didn't deviate from the plan just because a couple guys got on base. We'll go to Mark and then finish with Chris here. Kyle, over the past month or so, when you, you knew there was a good chance you were going to be traded, did you envision a night like this, like going to a contender and, and having first place on the line and sort of what that was going to be like after going through a season where the stakes when the urgency wasn't necessarily that high? Yeah, I mean, I think I can only imagine it so much. Um, you know, playing in, in Minnesota in 2019, we were you know, the division leader for a lot of the year. So, um, you know, we had a lot of good energy. But, you know, as, as you sit back and look at the trade deadline, you know, I tried to not read into a lot of the rumors, but, you know, you can't help but do it. Um, and it was it was looking like a situation where thankfully I was going to be going to someone a team like this that was either in first place or really close and, and had a chance. But um, you know I don't know that I really could imagine kind of what this atmosphere would look like. You know six days being here and we win you know six out of the first seven games and and we go from you know three or four back to being ahead. Um, you know that that type of energy and, and atmosphere uh, is hard to dream up and it's hard to kind of imagine you know the impact that has on you. So. Um, it's uh, met or exceeded every one of my expectations and, and the excitement I had coming here. We saw the big fist bump after the double play, but after the RBI, which you mentioned was the first of your career, you played it pretty cool. Was there, were you, were you, what was your, what was your energy and your emotion like after you get that hit? Uh, well, I, I think I can act like I'm playing it cool, but inside I'm a little kid, you know, uh, it takes you back to, to high school when I last hit. 
uh, you know, competitively and decently. Um, and, uh, you know, you just – I forgot, obviously, to give the one to everybody because that's my first time, uh, you know, really doing that. But, um, you know, it, it just takes me back to being a kid. You know, sitting there talking to Alonzo a little bit, um, you know, just running the bases and diving back and getting your jersey dirty. Uh, I know it sounds silly to you guys maybe, but um, – you, know, you just feel like a ball player again. You forget taking the mound with, you know, uh, a dirty jersey is just like what I did in high school. You know, playing, playing and hitting and diving into second, and then going to the mound afterwards. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. It, it's hard to describe that. Yeah, uh, Kyle, do you thrive in those situations when you have men on base and you get the double play, or and and does that just contribute to your energy moving forward when you're? And what can you tell young pitchers about that, about pitching through those situations? You know, um, I actually – I had a young guy in, in Texas ask me that this year about, you know, getting out of certain situations. I had a situation where I had bases loaded and no outs and uh, walked in a run in Houston and then was able to get out of it with just one run. And, you know, that was his question exactly. And I think some of it is you you dive back into the experiences you have and you, you take from those experiences and you try to learn from it. You know, not all the time do you get out of it, but then you got to learn from the ones that you do get out of. And um, when I have, you know, a guy on first or there's a double play in order, not many times am I thinking about anything other than what pitch can I throw to get a ground ball. Um, I like to think that, you know, I have a, a good ability to do that. And, and in my career over the last few years, I've been able to, to get quite a few. Um, so even if I'm throwing a pitch to set up a double play pitch, I'm finding a way to what sequence and, and what pitch can I throw here to get a ground ball. And, um, you know, when JT came out, you know, he asked me what I wanted to do. And, and I know that, you know, over this past year, throwing my cutter, the, the cutter ends up being a pitch that hitters, the lefties especially hit down, not up. And that's what I told him. I was like, hey, I want to get in here with a cutter and see what happens. And, you know, after the cutter, I don't know what I would have done next. But, you know, in those situations, I'm, I'm hunting that a little bit, knowing that when you have a good defense behind you like we do, and we got a really good chance to turn them. 